Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to create and configure load balancer on Microsoft Azure. An Azure load balancer is an ultra low latency open system interconnection OSI model layer for inbound and outbound load balancing service for all UDP and TCP protocols. Today we are going to see how to create a load balancer for the Microsoft Azure. So first uh, this is my dashboard page for the Microsoft Azure. The load balancer we have need for the two virtual machines. So first I will create a yeah, two virtual machines. Create new machine. First I will create a yeah, resource group. My resource group name was Linux help. Next I will create a yeah, virtual machine name. The virtual machine name was primary server. Next create a region. Now I am available for the free tier eligible. So now I am select the region. Next select the available to June. The available to June for the first primary server is June 1. Next I will select the security group standard. Next select the virtual machine image. I will select the Ubuntu server. Next I will select the virtual machine size. This is for the all virtual machine size. I am in free tier eligible. So I have prepared for the one CPU and one GP RAM. Then select. Next I will create a administration account. I will select the password. Enter the username. Enter the password. Re-enter the password. Next I will select the inbound port rules. I will select SSH port and HTTP port. Two ports can be allowed for the inbound rules. Next select the disk. The disk size default size for the 30 GP. Then next networking. Microsoft Azure can be default assigned for the virtual network. So now I am skip the steps. Next management, any configuration you want to need and to be selected. Now I am skip that these steps. Then advanced I will skip that these steps. Tag can be used for the which purpose of you want to create the virtual machines. So identification to be create for the tags. Finally I have move for the review and create. To be review for the all basic information for your virtual machine creations disk and networking management and the advanced settings so now i am create the virtual machine the primary server virtual machines has been deployment to the process complete the deployment then go to the resource this is the my virtual machine primary virtual machines the primary virtual machine was created successfully. Next I will create a secondary server. So now I am create a another virtual machine. A resource group for name for the Linux help. Next select the virtual machine name secondary server. To be select the availability region, then availability June. The primary server can be I will select the June 1. The secondary server can be select the June 2. Next, we select the image for the virtual machine. Ubuntu 18, I have selected. Next, to be select the size for the virtual machines. I have recommended for the 1 CPU and 1 GP RAMs. So, next, I will create the administration account. Create the password username. Enter the password. Then again enter the password. Now I am going to select the inbound rules for the secondary virtual machines. Select the SSH and HTTP port. Next I will move for the disk. The recommended disk size for 30 GP. Next I will select the networking. The default networking for the assigned to the Azure. So I have skipped these steps. You want to need it for the any basic configuration. 
to be enabled for the disk steps example auto shut down and backup enable backups and guest os updated now i am skip the all steps so next finally create the review and create finally i will check the secondary server and create the machine The secondary server was created successfully. Next, to go to the resource. The two server was created: primary server and secondary server. Next, now I am going to the login to the primary and secondary server. Next, now I am going to open the primary server. Copy the public IP address. Go to the command prompt. Login to the primary server. and paste the public address enter the password the primary server was login successfully next now i am going to check the ip address next i will check the os version for the primary server The primary server OS for the Ubuntu, the version for the 18.04. Next, I will log into the secondary server. Copy the public IP address and open the another command prompt. Log into the SSH for the secondary server. Paste the IP address. Enter the password. The secondary server has been logged in successfully. Next, I will check the OS version. Next, now I am going to install for the Apache Web Server in primary server. Now I am going to give the full permission for the Apache Web Server HTML files. Then go to the browser and ping the IP address. Go to the primary server and copy the public IP address. And to browse the IP address, the Apache web server can be installed successfully. Now I am going to change the default web page for the Apache web server using lot of confusion upper primary server or secondary server. So I have changed for the, the Apache web server default page. So go to the command prompt. Next, now I am going to override the, the default Apache web page by using following commands. Now I am change the default Apache web server page. Go to the browser and refresh the page. The default Apache web server page can be overwrite to the I am primary server name. So these steps can be followed for the secondary server and to be make the I am in secondary server. So first I will go to the secondary server. Install the Apache web server. Next to give the full permission for the Apache web server in secondary server machine.
next go to the browser and copy the public IP address for the secondary server machine and to be search the IP address open the new tab and paste the secondary machine IP address the secondary machine Apache web server can be installed successfully next now I am going to change the default page for the Apache web server in secondary machine go to the command prompt to be override the HTML file next to go to the browser and refresh the page I am in secondary server the page will be overwrite for the secondary web server Apache web server next now I am going to create the load balancer now I am going to create a new load balancer first I will select the resource group name next enter the load balancer name next select the region and standard next I will give the public IP address next go to the front end IP configuration add the front end IP configuration to add the front end IP configuration name then select the IPv4 then choose the public IP address I will select new create the name was demo then select OK then add next to go to the backend pool add the backend pool to add the name for the backend pool to select the virtual network to add the IP configuration and primary and secondary and add then save the backend tool after saving the backend pool next to go to the review and create Next click create the process has been installation for the deployment after completing the deployment process go to the resource next to go to the health probes to add the new health probes to add the name for the health probe next enter the protocol for TCP next port number for 80 the interval time for the health probe 5 seconds then add after creating load balancer to be public IP address to be assigned for the load balancer so go to the virtual machine to primary server and secondary server the same IP address can be assigned go to the primary server the load balancer IP address 81.196 the primary server 81.196 the go to the secondary server machine the public IP address for 81.196 the load balancer and after verification now I am going to add the load balancer rules add the new rule for the load balancer first I will select the name for the load balancer rule next to select the IPv version next to be select for the front end IP address select the back end pool next to select the protocol which protocol you want to use TCP or UDP now I am select the TCP next to enter the port number to be select the port number 
next now i'm going to enter the health probe and to be add the configuration finally now i'm going to access the this public ip address copy and browse the browser the secondary server can be hit at again refreshing the page the primary server was headed to be working for the basic algorithm rules next i will go to the virtual machine the first virtual machine has been stopped after stopping the virtual machine next to go to the browser and refresh the page then automatically redirect for the first virtual machine to the secondary virtual machine again refreshing the page still now working for the secondary server only all service can be redirect for the first virtual machine to second virtual machine this is the load balancer for microsoft azure has been completed thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe to our channel to learn more tutorials visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries mail us to support@linuxhelp.com